Hi, Matt. Hey, Jenna. Hey. What's, what's that big smile for? Oh, I just have had the most incredible time with Dean. Oh, well, it shows. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it just keeps getting better and better, you know? It's like we just don't want it to end. So, Rick, are you at all to consider my offer? distribution. See, my base is in Rock Videos, but I have extensive connections in the entertainment world. Well, how much of a cut would you want? Like so. Get out of here. See, the more our play Jenna gets, the better it is for all of us. Really? You see, I kind of feel as though she's my discovery, so naturally, I'd be interested in any of her projects. Well, I'm going to have to think about this for another day, is that okay? So you call me when you made up your mind. Ciao. So, uh, what's that about? Just, uh, you know, sort of orders. Uh. <sighs> How was the second? So, it's leg. We'll be able to shoot a few rolls of film now. Did you get any sleep? Uh, no. I spent the whole night planning our vacation. Ah. What do you say we take that week off in Aruba? Hmm? Swimming, snorkeling, soaking up the sun. Takes care of the bays. Yeah, and I got big plans for the night. Yeah, too. we'll save them. Uh, uh, something wrong with Aruba? Uh, no, with you. I mean... Why would you want to go on a vacation with someone you don't even respect? What do you think, Marley? Do you like her work? Yes, I do. Um, do you like it? Well, I figured I'd live with it for a few days first. Actually, you know, this one is kind of moody. Yeah. So, uh... How'd things go with you and Jamie? Uh, not very well. I kind of figured that. You seemed a little quiet since you got in here. Please don't say I told you so. Well, I told you I wasn't going to give you any more advice. But you just can't <laughs> help yourself. This is the last time. Okay. What is it? Maybe it's time you finally got on with your life. So thank heavens you're here. Don't worry, we just had a panic on the phone. But just tell me, has the grand jury decided to indict you? There's no word yet. Oh, good, then we still have time. Time for what? Time for you to go to the authorities and clear your name. I and don't you. tell me there is nothing you can do. I have proof that you lied to me and you perjured yourself before the grand jury. Some scheduling problem with Dean's song? You, you talk to him. Hi. I'll be right here. Excuse me. Hey, you want to hey. pop? Oh, thanks. Ooh, congratulations on your trip to Washington. Oh, thanks. You act like it's a trip to the mall. Are you excited? Yeah, of course I am. Yeah. I don't know. In a way, it's just the icing on the cake. Getting to know more to me. So we've gotten pretty close, huh? Yeah. I mean, this might sound corny, but I never thought that I would be seeing you again. I never expected it to be Dean. Well, my feelings for Lauren have kind of snuck up on me, too. Yeah, I've been wondering how that's going. Great. That's good for you. 
it surprised me too. <laughs> That's great. I don't really see the point of pushing it back. And I don't care if we coordinate with Nora or not. I just think we should go ahead with what we planned. I don't know. Lorna hates my guts. It's a little hard for me, I guess, to imagine her being good to anyone. Well, I keep threatening her. She can't get out of her mind. We used to go out. But why? She knows I'm, I lo I'm in love with her. I just had to say that, but it's true. If you ever need me, I'm there for you. Thanks. I'll be there. Could you just hold one moment? I'd really like Matt in on this. Thanks. Matt, pick up the phone. I need backup. Yeah, who's asking, Doris? I'm asking. Who's Dean? pretty good about checking in lately. Suddenly everybody around here is a secret. Tell you something else. Once a man has made the break, he's going to do everything he can in his power to forget the woman that hurt him. I just know we're dealing with unfinished business, and I know Jamie feels the same way. So I can't speak for Jamie. Well, I don't think he's seeing anyone else. I, I mean, at, at he least not yet. Have to. He doesn't have to. I don't have any more experience. It's just easier to believe that there's still hope for the one that left you, when instead of facing the fact that it's over with and that you're alone now. Sometimes it's very lonely when you shift gears. You need a friend to help you. Oh, don't feel such a good friend, Mom. You know, I feel like all I've done is just dump this on you for the last couple of weeks. Well, in fact, I think I even called you the most insensitive mom on the entire planet. <laughs> Those were the bad old days when you were still trying to find your way. Well, I'm glad that you are. I think that storm's gonna hit really soon. Remember that rain in Sandy Creek? Yeah. Uh, I, I should probably not be crying. I'm gonna yeah. be drenched. Stop in? Yeah, why don't you just, uh, you know, check in? Sure. Uh, am, am, am I missing something here? Are you trying to be funny? Something? Am I laughing? No. Okay, why don't you come out with it, Vicky? Um, what's this nonsense about me not respecting you? Gee, you, you really didn't think Grant was going to tell me, did you? Tell you what? That you think I'm nothing but window dressing at the office. What? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, you can't even deny it, can you? And I thought you loved me. Well, Becky, of course I love you. Then what is this about thinking I'm fluff on camera, huh? Becky, Just a, a pretty smile on Becky, I was trying to get you some time off. By pointing out how unimportant I am? Gee, thanks oh, a lot. Brent said that it was impossible, that it was completely out of the question. Uh -huh, and what did you say? I said that everybody deserves a vacation. Even house plants? Oh, Vicky, you're turning this into something much worse than it was. Well, Grant is. Okay. Why don't you tell me exactly what you said? Word for word, and then I'll decide who I'm furious at. I think you have some explaining to do, Spencer. Where did you get this ledger? Well, it took some doing, but I finally convinced Avery to give it to me along with the bills and the receipts. And you actually looked through them? Oh, yes, I did at great length. 
That is just as I expected. Your books are meticulously kept, Spencer. That's from the period you're supposed to have received money from Carl Hutchins. You had no right to go through my financial affairs. Spencer, I love you, and that gives me the right. No, it doesn't. I have no intention of standing by and letting the man I love go to prison for crime he did not I have me. warned you to let this go. And I'm warning you. If you don't tell me the truth now, you can get out of here. Iris, how many times do I have to tell you? I can't. Then I don't want to see you again. Start talking. I told Grant that everyone's entitled to a vacation, and I simply asked him to give you one. How did you ask? Nicely. And he refused over and over. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Because he's trying to bust my chops, ah. Vicky. Uh, it's payback time. I testified against my father, so he's going to make me suffer. Father, do you really think he's trying to punish you? Yes, I do. And he won't stop at using you to do it. Okay. Let's get back to the uh, window dressing part. Vicky, he just kept on coming at me. He said that he needed you more. V, I want to spend time with my fiance. Is that a crime? I'm really sorry. I lost my temper. What did you say? I said that he didn't, didn't need you as much. I see. What else? I said that a few of his aides could fill in and that the only reason why he wanted you around was because he liked the way that you looked on camera so that he could want you. See? Vicky, you did say oh, it! Come on, he kept on coming at me. It, it's Vicky, the argument wasn't about you. Yeah, well, it was unless you really believe I can be replaced. Oh, of course I don't believe well, that. you just said a whole bunch of aides could do whatever I Yeah, did. for a week, of course they could. Something. Grant was right. He told me the only place you appreciate me is in the bedroom. What? I mean, I'm great in the hay, but anywhere else, I mean, just forget it. Oh, come on. Now you're being paranoid. Yeah, well, you started it by talking to him about me that way. Vicky. Why do you believe my brother more than me? I thought I was the one you loved. Am I? He's growing. It is. You've been a lot now, too. I do so want to hug you. Can, can I get you something to eat? No, thanks, Marty. I just came over to get some peace and quiet. I was just driving me nuts. Oh, boy, that was the strongest one yet. You mean you, you just felt the baby? Mm -hmm. The kick. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's too painful. Oh, no, it's, it's fine. The lamb lives and never even bothers to ask, so he probably won't do it again, though. Well, no. <laughs> I just, I, I felt, did you feel that? Yeah. I, I felt him. Yeah. He gets to me every time. And suddenly this baby feels so real and alive to me and, and feels so connected to me. I believe it is. Right? Because maybe, certainly not fairy tales, but they're the fact. Well, not that. Marley, dancers always obsess about their weight, and this has not been easy for me. I don't find it at all that way. Oh, I think you look wonderful. You, you look healthy and full of life. I mean, my arms are getting oh, fat. Stop. My arms. Stop it. All mothers gain a little bit of weight. You're, you're going to have your figure back, Marley. <laughs> Maybe I have a beautiful baby to show for it. Olivia, I know that these are things that Sam should be saying to you. Yeah, he never will anyway. So it doesn't make them not true. I just want you to know that you are never going to live for anything. And you are going to live happily ever after. Um, maybe I could have some bubble tea? Sure. Uh, I don't know if this is a good time to bring this up, but uh, Byron has the final draft of the adoption agreement. Already? Yeah, he says it's very straightforward, but I would feel better if you talked to him about it. Sure. Okay, just to go over your rights and, and your protections. Okay. You want me to set it up? And any time. Okay. Actually, he, he is in his office this afternoon. I don't know if that's too soon. I just uh, I don't want anything to go wrong for a baby. Well, you seem to have thought of everything. Actually, I've thought of a name. You have? If it's a boy, I'd like to call him James. James? Why would 
was thinking more like, why don't we go and get that tea? We were just talking about how fantastic our lives are. How peachy. I'm happy with you. I still have a problem with you. She's in love with you. How wonderful for all of us. No, no, you leave Come on, Matt. I could have eased up on her. The both of them make me sick. Dean runs around here saying that Jenna's is inspiration for everything. And she runs around telling him that he's an ex Michael Jackson. So what if it works? Well, what about if it actually does something? How about thank you, Laura? Or thank you, Matt? Never needed that before. Yeah, well, I've never been hit with such ingratitude before. Come on, that's not what Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Little so Jenna can do absolutely nothing. Listen, some, some people think Jenna's doing some pretty big things. What do you mean? Like speaking out for women's rights at the university. <laughs> yeah. Little Jenna, our little Jenna on a soapbox for women's rights? <laughs> Precious. I guess you didn't hear that Jenna's going to the White House. Yeah, to meet the president, Lorna. You may not know him. He lives in the real world. This is true. Yeah, it's true. Excuse me, miss. Oh, gee. Jenna, I didn't know that you look so politically correct. Yeah, well, I'm going with a group of students, Lorna, so I didn't get too embarrassed. Give Lorna a minute to recover. She may find a way to brush him off. Oh. Hey, you and Dean are such a good couple that... Hey, maybe uh, it's Friday People magazine or a few TV interviews? No, I think that's too late. Listen, I've got to run. I have to meet the university chancellor to go over the trip. Oh, so it's official. Yes, it is. Dean was happy. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys later. Oh, thank you. How often does stuff like that happen to me? Mm-hmm. It's not pure enough. I still think Jenna's not pure enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Miss Farr certainly seems to be on the ascent. I wonder where she'll go from here. Oh, the only thing she can go is up. I'm not leaving. And you're right. There is more to this. Are you going to tell me how much more? You read the ledger? That's right. And I also saw the post-dated bills. To Carl Hutchins for consulting services? Oh, come on, Spencer. Who is it you're covering for? First, let me tell you. Carl Hutchins set up this place. Well, how did you get caught in the middle of this? I'm trying to tell you on this. You never consulted with Carl Hutchins. You're far too smart for that. These bills were made up long after the fact. Who took the dirty money? If I tell you, you can never repeat it. Of course I won't repeat it. But at least we can go to the authorities. We can tell Kevin Anderson the truth. We can show him the ledger. No, no, we can't do that. Thanks for the last time. Who are you protecting? Grant! This is your fault, and, and now you're trying to turn it around like I did something I'm, wrong. I'm blaming myself. What? Why? Yeah, I'm the one who got you involved in this whole stupid mess. I'm the one who's responsible. I, I wanted you to work for Grant. I, because I felt guilty, responsible for after Grant got shot. I almost died for Grant's sake. I, I didn't want the, my father to bully me around, and I knew that you could ring the old man in. Did. Yeah, you did. You were, you were more than a match for Grant. You're their equal in every way. Mm-hmm. And that surprised you. No, not at all. I, I think it's it's as if you act as if Grant discovered you. Well, I, in a way he did. All you thought I could do was distract Spencer. Well, so now all of a sudden Grant's the only one who appreciates you? No, but it Like he's the one who, who knows the real He business. doesn't think I'm some kind of an airhead. Vicky, you know? I don't think he that. He can't even arrange for her own time to take off. All right, so why can't you? Because he needs me. Vicky, I know you need him. Stephen needs you. Your family needs you. And you're the 
question is, what do you need? Well, I need someone who doesn't expect me to be perfect. You know, someone who knows I'm human. And thinks that you're human, then how come he doesn't give you a vacation, huh? So you mean... But again, I, you know, I never should have trusted Grant with you. You know, he wants you for himself. Right, but he only wants me because I'm your girlfriend, right? I mean, otherwise, he wouldn't even take the... No, the right. reason why he wants you is because you're a smart, sexy woman who's usually one step ahead of him. I'm one step ahead of you. <laughs> you flatter That's yourself. Right. Grant does what's best for Grant. But I am doing what is best for us. Right. So am I. And this job is good for me. Yeah. You really believe that? Yes, I do. I love it. Well, then how can we hardly see each other anymore? It's funny I used to say that to you when you were a cop. Well, I'm not a cop. But you certainly didn't give it up for me. You know, in a way I did, but I am not going to let Grant take you away from me because I love you. Vicky! Can you really stand there and say that you don't love me? No! I just don't understand how he could let you take the blame for something that he did. It was my choice from the beginning. He hoped no one would find out. But Ryan did find out. Yes, Ryan did. Hutchins made sure of that. It was his revenge. But Grant didn't solicit this money. Then who did? It was Grant's aide who accepted illegal contributions for the campaign. From Carl Hutchins, of course. Yes. Grant came to me when he realized he'd been set up. And he asked me to help him. And you engineered this cover-up? Oh, my goodness, Spencer, why didn't you go to the police? I couldn't. By the time Grant realized what had happened, Hutchins had all the proof he needed to incriminate him. In what way? The money. The money made it look like Grant was working for organized crime instead of against it. I had to step in. Why? Why? Don't you see, Alice? Grant was so close. I couldn't let him lose his political reputation because of some careless bookkeeping. It was wrong, Spencer. Don't you see that it was wrong? Look what it's done to Ryan. I feel Ryan's pain is deeply as my own was. But I have to look at the big picture. What is the big picture? Everything. Everything that Grant has accomplished in Congress. His anti-crime legislation. And that's his- enough? That's enough for you to sacrifice your freedom? I also have to think about what lies ahead for him. Iris, he could be the leader that this country is begging for. He could even be elected president someday. Maybe. Maybe so. But who elected you, God? I would love to cut the officers with the law, but uh, I'll pass on it. Would you ever trust me again if I did break them? See that? Exactly. Okay, so we'll see you on Saturday. Okay, you too. Bye. Hello? Hey. Hi. Burning up on adoption, are we? Okay. What are the laws that pertain to a child in an adoption action? That would be the laws of the state in which the child is born. Okay. Good. And what about the state where the mother resides during her confinement? I have no bearing on that. Excellent. You get an A. You see, I started with those two questions because it's very important that you and Olivia select a state for the birth that A, has the shortest time before the adoption is final, and uh, B, is a state that I am licensed to practice in. Okay. I'll pick the state. Hopefully there's a change of mind. Well, nothing certain, Molly, but you proceed, I believe. Actually, she is ready to meet with you. Oh, great. Send her in. You seem distracted. Are you having second thoughts? No, no. I, uh, I was just wishing I could share this with Jamie. Olivia may be right. I don't think Jamie will. Speaking to me, but uh, it was not a problem. 
I'm looking forward to being a single mother. <laughs> Have you given up on men entirely? I was the only man in my life who supported me. Thank you. And of course you'd have to admit I'm wrong. Feelings aren't mutually exclusive. And you don't want to force them on me. Well, that's not really my style. So you're still playing by the rules, eh, Marley? You know, if you want things to change with Jamie, you're going to have to break some of them. I think I'm being too careful. Show up where Jamie least expects you. He'll grab onto a stethoscope and hang on to it until you tell him what's on your mind. <laughs> can you really see me doing that? Hey, if you can raise a baby alone, you can make a man listen to you. A little piece of advice. If you want something, you go and get it. Don't wait for it to come around to you. Well, do you think we might have a chance? One way to find out. You are absolutely right, Mother. You are absolutely right. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Go get him, Tiger. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> okay. I only hold you in my dreams. You only love me in my fantasies. Still, I keep hoping that some. I want you to forget Jamie, because I've fallen, because I've begun to care about you. Giving her all the credit as long as he's successful. Who cares what he thinks? Because I am so sick and tired of being the wicked witch of Bay City, Matt. Especially your beloved family and your own. Especially that Jenna just walks around here and chews everybody's favorite fairy princess. Does Skylar see her? Oh, of course she does. Would you ever imagine her doing a lot of fairy petting? I said I can't because she's just too good for it, isn't she? Why did you do this? To show you what a hypocrite you are. You say you love me a lot, but you know I used to love Jenna the best. That part of you will always belong to her. There are parts of me she never knew, parts I share with you. Do you realize that? It's not the point of being a good friend. Hey, Franco. Hi, Jenna. Is Dean here yet? No, not yet, but uh, would you like to wait for him on the terrace? Hmm. Yeah, why not? It stopped raining, right? Yes, and there was a beautiful rainbow out there just a few moments ago. Really? Sorry. So, you're not still sore at me for the gift thing, right? I'm really sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I couldn't accept them. You couldn't or Dean couldn't? Me. It was too much, Rick. You've already been very generous. Yeah, I have been generous. And now I feel like you don't think you need me anymore, so... No, that's not it at all. It's just I have to concentrate on school. Wait a second, what, are you going to give up on your career now before you've even gotten started? Well, I'm just going to work with Dean from now on. Hi, am I, I hearing this right? I don't have time for anything else. Well, I overextended myself for your video. You were great in the video. Is that why it's not going to be released? That was technical difficulty. That didn't have anything to do with you. You're too smart for this. I think I've never thrived in this. What's the matter with you now? I'm trying to do what I think is right. 
what are you afraid of? I mean, are you afraid of competing with Dean? No. Dean and I are planning to go to the top together as a team. <sighs> we can't do anything with you as a team. We can't even see you. You're set up right now to do all... Your career should take precedence now. I can help you. Let me help you. Maybe one day. Let me represent you exclusively. If you let me do that, I can make you so much money, you'll be able to pay for his first album all by yourself. Rick, I'm not interested. You're making a big mistake. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression. I can't keep up with your kids. I just thought we had an understanding, that's all. Back over at Antoine's, we were discussing all this stuff. You seemed to indicate that you were interested in a career. Now you're telling me it's all about financing your boyfriend for crying out loud? This your idea. And you were the one that said that you were the way I could help Dean, remember? But I thought you wanted to be a star. Look, I never pretended about anything. I needed to help Dean, and I've delivered what I promised. Wait, is this the old kiss-off? Is that what this is? Look, I, I don't like the way you're talking. I'm going to go now, and I'm sorry that it has to come like this. Goodbye. No, it's not ending. It's the beginning. Iris, we can't change anything now. But it was an honest mistake. A mistake, anyway. Well, maybe you can get off a community service. Iris, be sensible. If we present the story now, it looked like Grant was trying to save me. It won't work. You know as well as I do, Americans want their leaders to be without sin. Well, I, I think it's a sin to destroy your relationship with Ryan. Now, don't worry about Ryan. He can take care of himself. That's not true, Spencer. He's suffering terribly. I can't help that. Spencer, I know that you went to Ryan's place after he testified before the grand jury. Now, how did you find out about that? Your chauffeur. My chauffeur? Oh, is there anyone you haven't talked to? Spencer, I know that you went there, but you didn't go inside. You wanted to tell him the truth, didn't you? Please, darling, don't push him away. You might never get the chance to get him back again. That's what happened with Daddy and me. I can't tell him the truth, Iris. It'll make things worse. How can they be worse? My goodness, Ryan thinks you took the money out of greed. That's right. And his conscience will force him to turn Grant in once he knows the truth. He's not a policeman anymore. Maybe he'll keep it to himself once he understands. Now, even if he did, he would never forgive us for lying to him. If we can just give him the chance to understand. Iris, the risk is too great for all of us. Things can't get much worse, Spencer. Now, why don't you give Ryan the chance to decide how Ryan feels? At least give him that. All right, all right. Just let me think about it. But remember... You promised it never to tell me. I know that promise. I hope you're not sorry that you that you told me. Oh, I was I'm I'm relieved. I've been holding this in much too long. You're a good man, Spencer Harrison. And I love your songs. Too much. I never realized how much. Well, you wanted to help me. See if the grand jury has made a decision. I'll be here if you need me. You call me the minute you hear anything. Dennis? Hi. I want to see you this evening. Can you come straight over? You left on stuff, didn't you? Yeah, once I tasted your tea, there's no going back. Yeah. In the same way that once I left you, I couldn't get along with your wife. Thanks. <laughs> I think you're trying to sweet talk me. 
Hey, now be nice. I'm trying to get us back on track. You know, I used to be the one who was insanely jealous. Don't you think I am? Mm-hmm. Aren't you? Well, you... Jealous, yeah, but insanely... <laughs> Vicky, I know how my brother operates. How's that? Right now, he's busy convincing himself that if he can break us up, then our love wasn't strong enough to begin with. I mean, I just don't want you to doubt my love. That's not the point. Well, what is? The point is, is that he's my Vicky, right? Uh, he thinks that he can offer you more, that, that you're going to be happy with him. And sometimes I worry that he's right. No, he isn't. You know, you guys fight about everything, so it's, it's no big surprise that I'd get caught in the crossfire. Right. A lot. But right now, this is more like war. Well, I don't know. It just feels like more of the same to me. And, uh, I don't want to come between you guys. So, I'm quitting my job. And don't, don't try to talk me out of it because I've, I've made up my mind. What, just now? Yes. So, Grant's just going to have to do without me for a while. I didn't want to become yeah, this. Yeah, I didn't either, but it has, all right? And nothing is going to get in the way of our future. Are you sure? Yes. I'm not going to risk us for anything. I pass, I mean, this is the first job that you've ever really loved. I never loved anyone the way you did, Vicky. Well, you don't have to prove that. I think I do. So will you just let me, huh? Is that fast enough? Oh, oh darling, yes. Oh. Almost fast enough. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Well, I've had a revelation. A revelation? Yes. You got me home and maybe close the galley early because you had a revelation? Now you just sit down, sit down. We have to talk. We have to talk. Is this more of Dr. Nadine's love counseling or what? Well, more or less. <laughs> no, it's just that I've discovered that family is the most important word in the language. Oh, really? You could have fooled me. I thought it was work. Hmm. So did I. So did I for far too long. <laughs> you know, Dennis, I haven't loved you or helped you nearly enough. Love me? Are you, are you kidding me? You love me so much that I can't breathe. <laughs> no, I mean lately. Lately? Mm -hmm. I thought we had an agreement, Mother. I thought that you respect my privacy, I respect yours, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, that's about to change. Well, no, no, I like it the way it is. Mother, don't change anything, okay? You're making me nervous here. Well, ever since Paige hurt you, you've turned your back on love. Oh, not this again. Yes. And I think you need my support. And I'm going to give it to you starting tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've decided you and your date are going to have cocktails here before you take it down. My date? What are you talking about? I don't even have a date. Yes, you do. And that might be her. Her who? Mother, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, send her straight up, please. Thank you. Mother, did you fix me up with someone? Not just someone, Dave. Mine. Okay, even though this appears satisfactory, I recommend that you get your attorney to look over this petition. That won't be necessary. Well, Olivia, I think you should get someone to advise you of your rights and the rights of your unborn child. Olivia, are you with me? Yes, I'm listening. Okay, I have some names if you'd like. Oh, I'll let you know. So how long is it until the adoption is filed? Well, I was getting to that. Well, it depends on which state you're in when the baby's born. Well, if he's born here. 72 hours. Unless for some reason you abrogate the document. Abrogate? Yeah. Tear it up. Oh, I see. So I can still change my mind. Of course. Not that I'm, I'm planning on doing that. Yeah. All right, Olivia, I'm going to make another copy of this. I want you to take it and think it over. Okay, we have time. I don't want you to feel pressured. Oh, I don't. I don't. I just... I want this settled. Well, it's going to be very emotional when you hand your baby over to Marla. Kind of like saying goodbye. I know. Well, Mr. Pierce, thank you very much for going over this with me. Now I know what to expect. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm glad I could help. So I'd like to sign the document. Okay. Let me make a copy for you. Not necessary. Just send it to me. Olivia. I... Look, I'm not really to have my baby, so I will sign this now before I change my mind. Okay? Goodbye, Mr. Pierce. It's me, babe. You almost missed me. Timing is everything. Not in a good mood today. Really? How fortunate. Yeah, so I decided to come on over here and give you what you want. If you, in fact, can give me what I want. I know the tape, honestly. I'm going to give you the tape. Thanks, Sam. But I need you to give me all the proceeds and all the distribution of all the... Fine, because I just want to be free and change. Great. Well, it's in the process of being made even as we... But understand, I'm going to have to bill you for this, naturally. <laughs> naturally, of course. But organically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reach out, I'll yeah. be in touch. Thank you. The sooner the better. <laughs>